What could make the biggest boss of chicken wings and rapping Rick Ross unfollow and start beefing with Drake? Well, this all originated from Drake sending a cease and desist to French Montana for a song that the three of them did together because it was all produced by one of Drake's biggest ops, Metro Boomin, according to Rick Ross. This is Fresh Internet, where I cover things that we are interested in. Now back to the story. Here's the track of Rick Ross accusing Drake. Followed you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You said the police nigga hating on my dog project. That was the reason he unfollowed him. But what's coming next was even crazier. Drake dropped a diss track and he said this about the big fella. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. These lyrics is a play that Drake can take any one of Rick Ross girls easy. And also bro invited his ex Christina Mackey to his show. Sis had the time of her life. Also coming at Rick Ross A's like bro you're 50 why you jump in beef that doesn't even concern you. And also he's coming at Ross saying like bro I hope your songs hit the charts without me they never would have charted. Such songs as Dice Pineapple Stay Scheming and Go Roses. But Ricky Rose wasn't gonna stay quiet and he dropped a crazy diss track. He alluded to Drake having a nose job and a six pack surgery. Listen here. Yeah you had that surgery that six pack gone that's why you wearing that funny shit at your show you can't hide it nigga. To be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows. So Drake sees this, and then he decides to leak a private conversation with him and his mother. And the conversation pretty is funny. I'm not gonna lie. Drake is the ultimate troll. It goes like this. Drake mom said, "The internet is saying you got a nose job. You look the same to me in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me, cause you know I always wanted one. Don't tell me that you got tattoos without me, and now this too." Drake responds to his mom, "I would have got us a two for one." deal if I went. May, it's coming from Rick Ross. The guy I did songs with, he's gone loopy off the Mount Jaro. He hasn't eaten in days, and it's turned him angry and racist. He's performing at proms for money. It's bad. Don't worry. We'll handle it. So, I have more screenshots of Rick Ross trolling and videos as well, but the only thing he's really, like, focused on is talking about Drake no surgery and his six-pack surgery, and he keeps calling him white boy as well, which I feel is kind of wrong. And it's getting to the point, it's getting a little corny, because he's not really saying anything new and the same thing with his diss track that's just my opinion and that's just how i feel about it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but nah but this beat between 50 cent and stevie j is hysterical make sure y'all check out the video on the screen you won't be disappointed